Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So here we are at free agency. And uh, we're looking to make some big strides this season. And uh, there's a couple different important points in this offseason leading up to the regular season. One is obviously here in free agency. We need a couple relatively big pieces to fill out our roster. The second most important thing is after we get towards the beginning of the season, mid-September, uh, when all the resets happen, we're going to see some stat growth and things like that. And then we're going to decide if we're going to be trading any of uh, some of our younger pieces uh, for some more, not like veteran guys, but established NHL talent to kind of put us over the edge, right? So that's kind of the goal here of this video. And also, I've uh, gone ahead and uh, started to inquire about some new scouts. I think we're going to hire about 12 of them. So that'll be nice. And we're going to keep our current coaching staff as well. So... The only center that's here is Brock Nelson. Really, realistically. Like, the only center that would kind of fit the bill for what we're after. So, yeah, we're going to go for him. We'll do two years at 7 mil. And uh, we'll see what uh, he's able to provide for us. It's it's not the strongest class for centers, which is a bit unfortunate, but we do still need one. So him and then I think we got to pursue Provorov here. Lindell's pretty good too. Both of them are nice. Provorov is a lot more expensive and a lot more teams interested in him. He does have a lot more offensive upside. That is the, uh, the advantage that he has. Also, he's a little bit better overall. Lindell's slightly older. Again, it's still more of a stopgap. I don't know if this decree... Oh, man, it goes way down. So if I did two years, seven mil, like, I think we could do seven for each. If he doesn't sign, he doesn't sign. We can still pursue Essa Lindell. And he has no teams interested in him right now. So that's kind of the plan right here. And I don't think this season we needed any... Uh, HLers? I could be wrong. No, nah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we're more than fine on AHLers. So, yeah. We sign those two, hopefully. And that will be what we do in free agency. Spending a lot of cash again, but we'll be worth it here. There's going to be a lot of scouts accepting my offers here. Again, I'm pretty sure it's 12 total. All A's and A minuses. And we got to, we got rid of most of our C's actually by doing this. So uh oh yeah yeah those are extensions. <laughs> I was like wait a sec. Um, Provorov accepted. That's huge because that was the one I was kind of worried about. He had also he had other guys interested in him. Oh well, that sucks. Brock Nelson. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You know, he wants to win. All right. Fair enough. I didn't want to overspend on him because he's probably going to decline. But we got Schmaltz back. However, we're now... <laughs> they want to give us Barry again. Nope. That severely limits us because now everyone's gone besides freaking Taves. And I don't know if I want to grab him. Mostly based on principle. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. But uh, hashtag he knew. So, uh, man, we might have to have Schmaltz playing second line slash first line. That really sucks. I don't think we can really find a uh, short term, like, center. That just doesn't seem like, uh, Doesn't seem like a very big possibility. Uh, actually, player type doesn't really matter. I will say... Eh, it could be first or second. Let me check here. Let me just set a... I will say max... Let's say three max years. And then for overall... Wait. Where's the overall max? Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Um, actually, no max. I want a minimum. So minimum is gonna have to be like uh, eighty six or eighty seven. Let's try eighty seven. Because we do need someone who can. <laughs> Let's see here. Crosby, obviously, yeah. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, you can't just check centers. That's right, because it's a silly, silly game. Yeah, you got like the Malkin. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Malkin idea actually might not be bad. It's only one year, but he's still got a lot of X factors, man. He's not the greatest center, but yeah, Crosby, bit too good still. Malkin, top six, like he will decline. But it is only for one year. That's an idea. Low trade value, too, so you could get him. Natchez? Eh. Not really. He doesn't have that good of X-Factor abilities. Pavelski on his final year, but... God damn, he's actually still really good. Still has elite potential, too. He's on the Penguins? <laughs> well. I don't think I've ever gotten him in any franchise mode. I'm going to see what we, if we can get Pavelski. Conservative buyer. I'm going to try to get Pavelski here. I It's another two-way sure, but like... Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. Again, kind of just a spot filler. It's cheap. It's pretty cheap. I could probably get him for some stuff that I'm simply not going to use. AKA multiple elite goalies. Let's start with this Modine guy. We just drafted him. Hmm. This is actually kind of a lot of value for only a year, but we do need something. This guy was like a playmaker or something that I drafted way back. Yeah, we can get rid of him. I don't mind that. Let's see what they say to that. If they're going to ask us to overpay, this isn't the ticket. And everything else is... Yeah. Not really having that many expendable pieces. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, not really, man. Connor Geeky has a power forward. Kind of want to hold on to him. He could be a 3C replacement in the future. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't see... I don't really see a way to make that work. Especially because he's freaking 40. It's only a year. That's too much value for a guy. Uh, did it? Why is Bedard in here? I said Playmaker, did I not? Oh my god, I didn't. <laughs> let's actually... I know I didn't... I didn't... I think, uh, yeah, let's go back to Playmaker just to kind of target it down a bit more. That's it, right here. This is it. So really, it'd be Malkin, but I... Again, that's... Value-wise, he might stick around. You might be able to keep him for another year, but value-wise, that's just a bit too much for a guy with one year. So, ugh. There's not really a great option. So, I'll wait for now, I think. And maybe at the Switch, we have an idea of like what Cooley is, what some other people are. Maybe Cooley, maybe we can get someone, maybe we can get just like a massive, massive piece. As a 1C. I don't know, but... <laughs>
I don't think, yeah, nothing, nothing there was really sparking my interest that much. So we might have to go for a bigger piece, more term, really commit to it by shedding more guys. In which case, we're going to wait for the uh, switch in September. So I'll sim up here, get the lines and stuff taken care of, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So before I even do the lines here, we're checking out some growth. Gunther's up to an 88, 22 years old. And then... He, yeah, he didn't have that one T. Yeah, I think he actually did gain an X factor. Okay, good. One T is not too bad, man. I think Snipe would have been like more universally useful, but uh, one T is not too bad. Cooley. Okay, it's that third eye thing. It's not, I was hoping for like tape to tape or like send it or something like that, but he did, did in fact get one more X factor. Because uh, I think he had that puck on a string, right? Maybe he didn't. No, I'm forgetting. Um, and <laughs> Michelli has the breakaway music magician one, which eh. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what else he does. Dursey actually got quick pick, which isn't bad. That's not too bad. I was like, <laughs> I was I was half expecting him to get in reverse or something stupid, but he has quick pick. <laughs> so finally, oh man. Um, and yeah. That's, uh, those are the X factors. This is the growth. How about in the system here? Uh, Wrath G, Dickinson, 76, 19. Like, he actually has grown quite well. But, no X factors. Honestly, he's still a trade piece in my mind. So is this guy. But, as a center playmaker, also, man, I want to see if he develops well. So, mostly Dickinson. Like, this guy, I want him, I want to maybe have him in the bank. But, if we get... If that one C we get is like mid 20s, then this guy becomes an immediate trade piece. In fact, we move him in that deal probably. Um, main roster here. I gotta go buy potentials. Where the hell is. Oh, yeah. Lindstrom's an 80. Pushkarev's an 80. Depth. Oh, depth. Well, Pushkarev's AHL. Maybe Lindstrom stays down. Especially if we don't have space for him. Which. There's your. Oops. Let's. Yeah. If we think about it. We still need the top six. And likely the centerman. Although with Schmaltz being an 87. It's not too bad with him. Oh. No, no. He had those three. Um, It's not too bad having them as the one, two. I did want to shift him. To the three C, but he's yeah, it's not a super super long term. It wouldn't be bad, but then we need a winger, and we feel like we have more wingers than anything else. Like Lidstrom, thing about Lidstrom, oops, the thing about Lidstrom is he can kind of be either. I want to see what his face offs are. No, 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 he's a winger. He's a winger. Yeah, he's a winger. So Lidstrom's a winger. Has to be. And we could probably have switched someone to the other side. Or maybe Michelli eventually gets dished out. Well, this guy's a fourth rounder. But he's pretty solid, too. I mean, he's got to start producing a bit better. Um, ah, yeah. Man, just imagine if we had, like, a true one seat. Down the middle would be so much better. So I think we're still going to look for some trades. I want to see if their asking prices are better. They definitely are. Oh, yeah. Um, we lock him into this, absolutely. Well, he won't grow too much more. Let me see. It's like 6 mil for 8 years. I don't know if I use him for that long. So let me actually decrease it. I can't, oh, I can't, I can keep him as RFA if I do just a 1 year. Which might be actually good. But at the same time, keep it in, I think 4 years would be perfect. Because it's still really low. And how much is he going to grow between to next year and then the years after that, right? It shouldn't be that much. And I don't want to just completely sell myself so short for the RFA thing. So 4.9 for four years, hell yeah. Let's do that. Cooley, hopefully he wants a better deal this time around. He ab... What? Oh, it's doing that... St I, I doubt... Okay. We're in danger of offering this. He doesn't accept. 
because it's like a weird price, I, I'm almost willing to bet you he's going to change his mind on this. I'll try it, but I'm almost willing to bet you he's going to change his mind and then chastise me for saying that it's laughable and then switch to no extension. But we can tender him, so it's not the end of the world. Doan did not jump. Doan did not jump. He might be in the trade. He's a playmaker. He's not going to be on the second line. He's a trade piece. I hate to say it because it's it's Doan, but yeah. He ain't fitting the scheme, man. He just simply is not fitting the scheme. Pretty sure Moser's just going to continue to want too much. Yeah. We got spot fillers right now, right? Fabro spot filling Moser. It's an okay defensive core for right now. If we're going for one major, major piece, I want to start with a center, I think. Because we don't have, like, we have Cooley, but man, if we had a 1 2. I, yeah, Cooley could become like a true one C. I don't I have no doubts about that, but uh do I want to wait much longer? So I'm gonna see if a true one C is out there and we can maybe make a huge, huge franchise altering trade. Player type. You know, I'll stick with any for now. Where's the X Factor thing? Ah, oh, crap. I passed it. That's okay. Minimum rating. I might even say 90. <laughs> Let's see. Don't care about contract. Though X factors. Uh, ah, they you have to specify. That's so stupid. One or more. Let's see. Let's just see if 90 overall. I might decrease it. Stutzla actually kind of makes sense. Simply because these Senators are fucking floundering and have been forever. Puck on a string, snappy, snipe, third, oh man. He's not bad. Not bad at all. Tage Thompson is also really interesting. Again, another team that cannot friggin' figure it out. Don't like his face-offs. Rupe Hintz isn't probably going anywhere because, yeah, they're having tons and tons of success in Dallas. Wow, a low franchise. It's very rare you see that. Matt Barzal. Ooh. Now, this is interesting. Yeah, there have been a playoff team, however. They've been also floundering. Hmm. This is very, very interesting. So I decrease the overalls a bit, and there's two guys here who are very much rumored to have been on the trade block recently. First of all, Zegris, 575 last year, no extension in place. Not the greatest on faceoffs or defensively. Skilled up is meh. But like he still has other, he still got puck on a screen string, still has a tape to tape, has third eye, wheels as well. 70 points in the last season. They made the playoffs in both years in this version. Interesting. The other one here is Natchez. Who has an extension in place. So he's obviously rumored to be being dished out by Carolina IRL. No uh, gold ability. And only one passing trait. But decent shooting too. And obviously, playoff team. I'll take a look at both of them. See if it makes sense. No extension in place for Zegris really, really makes me interested. Obviously, not on the block right now. But look at them for centers. Still got some decent wingers. We can send them a wing or two. This one makes a hell of a lot of sense in my eyes. Still young enough. They're committing to Carlson. They have McTavish locked up for a bunch more years. This one makes sense to me. So we're going to see what we can do here. And see if we can pull this off. So Dickinson maybe. But we're going to start with Mayer, who they absolutely want. Because we're getting this centerman. He may even turn into a 2C, but 
You know, it doesn't matter. I want a 1A, 1B. I don't want 1C, 2C. I want 1A, 1B. And that's what we're going for right here. We want to be strong down the middle. So holding on to Lindstrom, holding on to Wrath G. Dickinson is probably the one to give up. Yep, he absolutely is. He's the other major piece. And I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but Anaheim, after trading Drysdale, could probably use some defensemen. Yep. Like, they're fine, <laughs> but their one major piece is Mintikoff. DeMello's going to retire soon. They're trying to get rid of Gibson. We don't need him. Oh my god, that's a lot of money on goaltenders. They have Doshdal. He's Doshdal's their guy. We they don't we don't need to give him a goaltender. I was hoping I could throw some value in that way, but that's not looking great. But if we throw in Meyer and Dickinson, that's looking pretty good. It's looking real good if we do that. I don't think they're gonna be too excited about giving up Zegris. Okay, they're not saying like uh, like I'm astronomically far off. If I tried to do this straight up, like Meyer and Dickinson. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got, we got some more. Again, still looking at Doan here. A little bit of value. They don't actually want him, unfortunately. Bit unfortunate. <laughs> Geeky weird. I could throw an Almond. Or Eamon. Okay, same player. All right. With him and Eamon in there. In which case, I hope they don't say... Well, no. Don't's off the block, so they won't say that. It's going to take a lot. It will absolutely take a lot, but... I think we can maybe make this work. Not throwing in those guys, obviously. I could still throw in. They probably want to go. No, they do. They do. So they want the value. It's not a ton of value. But let's chuck it in. Just a bit low. Okay. So, a middle six option. A probable top four defenseman of the future. And Meyer, who's... You don't know. But this is this is a pretty good package for them, I would say. So we have to do a little bit more to make this go through. I I, I think we do this, man. This is is not bad at all. Uh, this guy's not gonna be enough value. I'll try, but yeah, no, no, no. And they didn't want that. It's gonna have to be something matching the block here. Likely a pick of some sort. We have ten thousand seconds. A bunch of thirds. I could throw in a third. Let's start with a five. There you go. Trevor Zegris is a Utah Mammoth. Invalid. Let's just best lines it because I haven't done anything. There we go. Major, major trade made. This is what the game is going to suggest for us. Gunther, Zegris, Keller, which is a plus five, by the way. Michelle Cooley. That's not it. We're going to have to... Uh, Shift some stuff around. It's bringing up Pushkarev, which I might do, but I might also still play him AHL. Oh, speaking of which, I totally forgot to pick up that freaking ringer, didn't I? We got in the middle. Oh, we have Geeky. Don't really need a ringer if he plays with Geeky. Yeah, so we'll be okay in that case. Yeah, we should. We should actually be okay in that case. That being said, let's bring it up Lindstrom. Don't want that. I don't think. I mean, we could. I don't want him as my 4C, though, necessarily. <laughs> hmm. Man, we're missing... I don't really want to play Kraus up there. We're kind of missing... Yeah. 
We can see if there's a short-term kind of goal scorer out there as well, I think. Before we really set the lines. I don't really want to play Kraus up there. We'll see if we can get someone for, like, cheap. Like, pretty cheap. Sniper or power forward, let's start with Sniper. And I would like them to have an X Factor. Just someone cheap, even, even if it's like a, yeah, just a, well. Let's say no, none of that. Where's the, god damn it, I missed it again. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, where's the freaking, there it is. One or more. Let's just look for snipers real quick. And obviously scroll down to what's affordable. Look at overalls. Nope, extended. <laughs> I thought about it, I was like, wait a sec. Washington. He's extended, though, unfortunately. It's not a lot of value, but it's... <laughs> Probably not willing to give him up if they extended him. Let's let him retire as a capital. Oliver Bjorkstrand. No extension. Uh, has elite edges only. That's not the greatest. But very, very cheap. Bjorkstrand is very cheap. Stam, oh, that's a lot of years for Stamkos. Fiala? Yeah, four years. I know we traded Tarasenko. <laughs> we can maybe steal him back. Uh, so this is it for guys with X-Factors. Quinn is cheap. Holy crap. Oh my god, is he really cheap, but it's Buffalo. So no. Kempe extended. Bjorkstrand kind of makes the most sense. I know he doesn't have anything great, but he's pretty cheap. Uh, I can check free agency. I highly doubt there's anything left there. But we can check. I just don't think so. Nah. Like that Paterka. These, yeah, these are the two top guys left. A defenseman and a two-way guy. I mean, yeah, theoretically. Oh, he's 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 tendered, isn't he? Yeah, he's tendered. Oh, they're both tendered. Yeah, they're both tendered. So, screw that. Let's, yeah, we'll go back. Kuzmenko is also kind of interesting. He shoots a decent freaking amount. <laughs> he really does shoot a good amount. Has four X factors with make it snappy and close quarters. He's not incredible, but we get extra years. So he can spot fill for a longer time and we can still kind of capitalize on some of that value. Let me look for Kuzmenko here. They're a seller, but they don't, they're not selling Kuzmenko? Huh? We're selling, but not. <laughs> what? Holding on to Michelli, obviously. This is where you throw an omen. Man, might have to be some picks. We got plenty of those. We got plenty of those picks. Um, I'm going to throw in our pick because I think we're going to be a playoff team. Let's capitalize on that value now. Let's see what they say to that. Nope, might take a couple, but that's okay. This is what these seconds are for, man. New York second. Okay, I'll honestly keep throwing in seconds. I don't, I have no issue with that. Like to hold my first just in case. And then we run out there. Man. I have a bunch of thirds. Probably don't need that many. Too far off. Holy crap. I'm just trying to see how close I can get here. Too far. They're not even saying I'm close. Which is kind of nuts. Okay, just a bit low with this package. It's probably going to take an extra second. Probably takes an extra second. I don't necessarily want to sell on Everly yet, but he, he just, just turned 19. But that's about the same value as a third. So it's probably going to have to be triple second. But hey, again, I'm okay with it. Ottawa, I, I, yeah. let's throw in Ottawa's. Pittsburgh, uh, they still have like all of that top talent, but... 
There you go. So, picks, but we had a huge excess of that. Now, we have a lot less for this year, of course, but again, I'm okay with it. This is, we need stuff to help us now. So, uh, cut these, this is a, that right here, picking up Zegris. Speaking of which, that's a franchise-altering move. We're going to commit to him. We are going to commit to him. Obviously, it wouldn't make sense to grab. I think he even might be RFA. He is. Doesn't fuck off. Doesn't want an extension. Get off it. Oh, my God. Well. We can wait. We'll wait. We'll absolutely wait on him. Moser, yeah, we're still waiting on that. Okay, now I'm going to get these lines sorted. All right, so I got these lines sorted out now. Gunther, Zegras, Keller on the top line. Second line, Michelli, Cooley, Kuzmenko. Third line, Kraus, Schmaltz, and Pushkarev. We are going to, I decided I'm going to give him a shot. We're going to try him out here on this third line. They get a plus two chemistry together. He's with a guy who's a two-way sure, but he could pass, right? So... That's the idea there. Nice power forward on that line as well. Then uh, Car Carson, McBain, and Boyd as the fourth line. Defensively, Provorov, Derzy, Fabro, Moser, uh, Valamaki, and Sederstrom. And uh, that's not a bad defensive core. Right? It's pretty balanced. It's not elite by any means. But we've lost the teams in the playoffs with worse. <laughs> much, much worse. Goaltenders, Ingram, Vimelka. They're going to prove to me that they can uh, produce. This is it. Good Branson's our depth. We are currently signing Zach Parise to be forward depth because <laughs> he's pretty damn good defensively. He is 41, but the only other guy there also had bottom six potential. So for the memes, I went uh, Parise. Power play. Zegris, Gunther, Keller, Provorov, Kraus on the top unit. You get a plus five like this. Uh, Keller dishing to Gunther, Zegers puck carrying. Zegers is taking the draws as well. Second unit. Kuzmenko, Pushkarev, Schmaltz, Michelli, and Derzy. Now, Schmaltz is going to be the guy dishing. I know he's got that dump truck, but my idea was like, also, Kuzmenko has close quarters, but he also has skilled up. I'm wondering if they, from here, go behind the net and... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm putting him in a position to do the Michigan. We are the Michigan team. Uh, Schmaltz dishing to push Karev. Uh, I don't think we have a puck carrier. Yeah, we do. P Kuzmenko. I thought I already had that set. I must have switched. Oh, yeah, because I switched the, uh, face-off formation to get Schmaltz taking the draws. There we go. So that's the power play. Jesus, the menu lag. Penalty kill. McBain, Keller, uh, Derzy, Sederstrom. I didn't change much, but I put Keller here instead of Schmaltz because I wanted him taking draws because this guy can't. And it had him there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then Boyd, Kraus, Valamaki, Fabro. Uh, deep pairing should be the same because I best lines it. And then it's McBain, Schmaltz, and Boyd. Extras. Keller, Gunther. Now, I know Keller can't take faceoffs, but he's our best player. So I'm kind of having him with Gunther. Uh, Dursey, Provorov. It's going to be the same five-on-five -five defensive pairings. Then Zegris, Kuzmenko. And then Cooley, Pushkarev. And that's what we got. These, the forward pairings will be the same. It'll be... I guess Jersey's fine. And then it should be... Oh, no. Get out of here, Fabro. I didn't do the uh, defenseman here. My bad. Provorov. Yep. And then we can go Fabro. Saying Sederstrom. No. Fabro, 85, 86, probably. Yep, Fabro. All right, so that's what we got. Goaltenders, of course, you saw. Um, extra attacker is Keller Cooley, and that's the shootout lineup. It's just whatever they said it is, and I'm okay with that. None of our snipers, really, besides Kuzmenko. But it's a bunch of guys with good deacons. He's got, the, he's got the magician thing, right? Like, I'll just, whatever. Let the game decide what the heck my uh, PK is going to be. So, I also assigned scouts to their proper areas. I'll give you guys a quick look at what that looks like. By region, two in Russia, two in the Liga, two in the SHL, one in each European league. 
One in the U.S. East and West, two in the Central because it's more major league, two in every uh, CHL. And the grades are pretty good. Still need a couple more, but we're looking pretty solid. And the coaches, nothing changed about that. All right. The team is together. Uh, let's advance a couple days and hopefully get Parise signed to a league men deal. Uh, Michelli accepted his extension. Uh, get out of here. Just remove all this crap. We don't need to be bothered. All right. And we got Parise. It says he's in Tucson. So do I have to call him up? Look how laggy this fucking game is still. It's insane. Yeah, okay. I'll have to call him up. Um... There he is. Call up Parise. All right. So we got our team. Our team is together. This, this, we got to make the playoffs. That's the push here. We're making, we're going for the playoffs. So let's go. Uh, Cooley accepted his extension. Wow. Oh my God. He accepted. He didn't tell me to fuck off. Oh, that's massive. It's only six years, but that price tag is insane. Absolutely insane. All right, and I will check contracts again at this stop, too. Let's let Auto Scout get going. Uh, okay, minor injury for Krause battled through. Pro uh, damn it. Provorov goes down with an injury. That's a bit unfortunate. But we'll throw in good Branson. Nice DFD presence. <laughs> Come on, we got to score more. Let's go. Let's go. Eh. There we go. Time to start getting things going. I know we have a very new team, but we got to get things going here. Provorov's back. Good. Come on. Yes. Ugh. Too much win-loss, win-loss happening. We got to string together some dubs here. There we go. All right, now we're starting to figure it out. All right, pick up a point. Mm, couldn't be Boston. 13-9-1, though. Not bad. In striking distance. We're holding on to a wild card spot. One point behind the Jets. Couple behind the Stars, but they have two games in hand, and Avalanche are kicking ass. Ridiculous start for the Avalanche. But we're we're in there right now. And, oh yeah, the other wildcard spot's 22 points, so we're in great shape early on here. Really, really good shape. Clayton Keller's a point per game, but before we do that, I will forget if I check stats first, so I'm going to check this first. He still wants that absurd price, so we're going to continue to wait. I might have to do the one-year thing. All right, Moser. He's, he's not going to change his mind from his price tag, is he? Yeah, no, he's like wanting more and more. Yeah, no, good Branson. That's not happening. Ingram, what's his numbers looking like? Meh. Doesn't want an extension. I mean, we obviously oh, you can still get it. I gotta wait for him. Gotta see what he does more. We don't have too many other good options, but <laughs> so we kind of need him to produce. All right, still waiting on those. We'll go another month and check on him, along with some growth. Points-wise, Keller's point per game. We don't have anyone over a point per game. I was kind of hoping for that. But we're scoring. 3-2-6. I would like that to still be higher. Goals against needs to get better. Power play, not bad. It's okay. It's okay right now, but there's still some room for improvement. We're hoping people get better. Keller, Gunther. I like that first line. Second line, however. Oh, Cooley. No points on the power play either. Woof. Well, that's why that's why I got Zegers. Schmaltz doing okay. Yeah, Cooley needs to get going. Push Krev only has six points, man. I think we might need to send him down. That's just not enough for that third line. Vimelk is kicking ass as the backup, at least. 
I don't really have anyone to bring up, though, in place of him. And I could just turn it into a defensive line, but do I even have anything like that in the AHL? We'll take a look. Tucson's doing well. Uh, Leonard, not really. Ratti, not really. Weissblatt could be a fourth liner. Yeah, and I'd have to move someone up. Yeah, Weissblatt's kind of the only one here. That right wing side is wait, he's up to an eighty one. Is that is that morale though? That might be morale. Let me let me check, because he is up to an eighty one. I'm I'm guessing it's morale. I don't think if it's real growth, I'll keep him there, but I'm I'm guessing it's morale. Discipline went up. That's nothing major. I think he might be better off. He's only got six points in twenty three games played, man. He's on the power play. Got him on the power play. I'll give him one more month. I know we're going to ruin, quote-unquote, his rookie season. I don't care about the Calder. We'll give him another month. See if he can figure shit out. Oh, that power play's got to get going. Nice win. Got a point out of that one. All right, let's do some scouting. We probably won't have a top pick, so I'll let the uh, AI figure out that. We're just going to target guys here. Because that's where we're at. Ah. See what the heck we can get. Miko Kiprasov. <laughs> that's funny. These aren't tremendous areas, but these are still top six guys, and that's where we're going to be drafting, likely, in this in this range. We're doing a pretty good start. All right. Oh, big gap right there between the mediums. And he's being looked at. Also being looked at. Not being looked at. We'll see. We'll see what the mediums look like here. Nothing great. Uh, the lows, also nothing great. Also being looked at. Ugh, no man's land for these, but let's get them anyway. You never know. Maybe it's so thin that people are going way out of range. Could be a thin draft. That third year can often... Second and third year, like late rounds, can often be absolutely atrocious. We found some good stuff last season, which is making me hesitant that we'll find anything this season. Part of the reason I traded all those seconds is because I don't think we're going to see an excess of low elites. Plus, we got a bunch last season. So I'd rather use that value of those to get things that we needed right now, which I think we did a good job of. Oof. Not a whole heck of a lot of good stuff here, I'm going to be real. Could be much better. Drink. Ah, there we go. All right, 84 is a good location. He is 19. Late for a low elite, but he has gem. So interesting. Oof. Wow, a lot of 19-year-olds here, man. Awful lot of 19-year-olds. Hmm. Very late. But going for it anyway. Jeez. Yeah, the locations are not exciting me whatsoever. With the just where they're projected to go. It's not giving me a whole lot of hope here. All right, these ones are okay. Eh. And that might be it. Okay.
Not a whole heck. Oops. Yeah, the defense. Okay. Yeah, not really that much. All right, let's keep winning here. McBain. I don't think he was out. I'm double checking, though. He was not. Yeah, <laughs> now he is. All right, well, Zach Parise. Uh, yeah, we'll just sub him in all lines. I don't think he can really take face-offs. No. But we'll swap him with Boyd here. And it screwed up my calendar. Awesome. McBain's already back. Um, oh my god, it takes so long to let me move. Oh, it actually did. I didn't see the indicator go up, but it, it worked. And, oh. Connor Ingram out with a torn hamstring. But you know what? It's a good thing that we have Anton Thornton now. <laughs> uh, he's going to be the guy I call up, actually. I want Corden to keep playing. We'll call up Anton Thornton to be the backup here. And I might just, I'll probably just leave him up here. Uh, God damn it. I'm aware. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do this first. Yeah, fine. Vimelka is gonna be the starting. Fortunately, he's a set. He's an 83 man. It's not too bad. Yep, that works. Yeah, I didn't even need to do that. Okay. Well, he's out till friggin' February too. That's rough. That's a couple months, or a month and a half at least. Now it's like two months from where we are. I'm guessing where we are because the calendar's all fucked up, and I'm still in the AHL. Anyway, um. We just switch this to make sure we're good. 22, 12, and 2. What a month. We only lost three games. One of them was an overtime. Big, big month of December. Huge month of December. Oh, yeah. It's starting to get going. We're starting to get that production. Yep, still kind of exorbitant. So yeah, we're likely going to have to do that one-year thing, which sucks. But it is what it is. Alright, um, I do want to recheck this before I look at growth, because we want to see how we trended. A little bit more goals for, or the same? Goals against got a lot better, though. Power play got better. Penalty kill got better. Everything got better. That's perfect. We tr we're trending in the right direction here. Thir uh, 42 points for Keller. 38 for Zegris. 37 for Gunther. 25 Kuzmenko. 22 for Cooley. He got going. Michelli with 21. It's not amazing by any means, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, Pushkarev now is 13 points. 7 goals. Again, not amazing. Oh, he's getting some power play stuff now. I'm going to double check because I have Cooley on the power play. Did I fuck it up somehow? I may have fucked it up, but I don't think I did. Okay, I actually fucked it up. Holy crap. That's my bad. I'm sorry about that. I... I had him in there. I must have switched him and then forgot to switch the lines of him. That's my only explanation. So, uh, fuck you, Kraus. Um, that's, that's completely my fault. I guess I should have checked after the first one, but I thought it was just a slow start. We'll get him on the top unit. That's a big, big oopsie by me, but hey, he was still, he's still producing kind of good. So we'll see what he does now with power play time. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, at least we caught it. Didn't go full season. I'm still not super happy about Pushkarev, but again, we don't have a major replacement for him besides Weisblatt. And maybe, maybe I make the move now. I'll check growth. We'll check the full growth now too. It's up to six. Two to discipline. Shot blocking, stick checking. You know, he's growing. He's honestly, he's growing. I want to leave him here. I know it may not be optimal, but I want to leave him here. He's growing. It's not tremendous, but he's growing. Holy crap. 
Dave Thomas, that 19th pick. He grew five overall. Pretty sure he was a 70. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Kondratiev, low six. Screw you. Um, I don't know. He actually might become an NHLer. Not a ton, though. Uh, Eberly was that goaltender. Uh, Nystrom, okay. Nothing tremendous. Let's see if we're missing people. Rathji, that's kind of to be expected sometimes with those guys freshly drafted who are listed as NHL ready. I sent Lindstrom back down to the CHL. A little bit of growth, need more. Um, we growing is good, but again, need more. So not too bad, but we can use more from a lot of people. Yeah, we just need more in general. Uh, geeky, come on, man. He's our maybe future Smaltz replacement, <laughs> right? But you need to get there. All right. Not too shabby. We can fly to the deadline now, man. Let's go. Oof. Okay, it's a mild concussion for Rathji. I will have to do this. Well, that's okay. He'll be back in like two days, but I don't want it to best. Oh, no, I called up Anton Thornton, so it should be best lines. But I'll just do it manually this time. Not going to take too long. Get back in there, boy. All right, let's continue. Tough losses right there. Let's not get into a rut of losing streak. Ottawa fired their coach. McBain goes down again. All right. Hey, Parise's maintaining 78, dude. <laughs> All right, let's do some scouting real quick. So continuing on now. Oh, it screwed up my sim again. I want to watch. God damn it, Rathji. Another... Oh, my God. Two minor concussions at age 18. Man, if this was real life, that would be uh, horrible. Fortunately, it's not. I'm trying to stop the sim so I could get back to where we are in the calendar. Still 10, 10 games above 500 in reg. Ah, come on, string together wins. Let's go. Rathji's back again. Back in he goes. And McBain's back on our main roster. It's not a crazy amount of injuries, and it's tapping into the same two people. <laughs> there we go. And I screwed up my sim again. Why do I even bother? Uh, Ingram is back. That should help a little bit. We'll keep Thornton here. Let's see how he did. You know what? That's fine. Three wins in five games. 9-10 save percentage. Good for you. Yeah, Vemelko's numbers dropped. As he had to play a lot more than he was probably used to. Ingram back in. And he had a 9-10. So yeah, losing him actually hurt. But he's back now, baby. And we'll just keep Thornton up. Ooh, Michelli separated shoulder out till March. That's a tough one. But I'm going to move up Pushkarev, I think. Seniority goes to Kraus. But Pushkarev. Uh, actually, before we do that, let me... Just in case it gets messed up some, I don't think it will. Just in case. So Parisi will be on the third line. That doesn't affect chemistry, so fuck it. We're going to put Pushkarev up on the second, though. Power play. Pushkarev's already in there. Do I just throw in... No, now I can throw in Kraus. Yeah, and I'll remember that he's there. I'll throw in Kraus here. Oof. Well, deal with it. Anaheim fired their coach.
Really? <laughs> God damn it. Now Zegris is out with a mild concussion. Um, okay, this is like for two days, and I, I think we're in the all-star break still, so... No, we're probably not. Act no, of course not. We just played a game. All right, it's... Yeah. Not ideal, but I don't care. He's out for like two days, man. So we'll, we'll <laughs> take an L if we have to, but... LOL, it's funny. I like how we still have a plus one with fucking Eric and Branson as the center. That's how good that first line is together. With Eric and Branson as the center. It's doing a bit better, not tremendous or anything. Alright, here we are. 34, 25, and 2. Not the greatest month. But we had some uh, major injuries. <laughs> we'll just say. Okay. 339 goals for. 298 goals against. Power play dropped way down. Penalty kill really fell off. Wow. Well, Michelli wasn't on the penalty kill. Power play dropping makes sense, though. It hurts. Tough injuries. 64 points for Keller, 57 for Zegris, 56 for Gunther, 46 for Cooley, 44 Kuzmenko, Schmaltz with 35, Michelli, Kraus, Kraus, oh man. So since moving up, he's got two goals, a couple assists, I think, four points, not great, man. <sighs> that sucks. Rovrov's doing good, he and Dursey putting up some points. Okay goaltending. League average. You know, league average goaltending. But uh, Ingram, you know, he's a bit over it. Probably hovering around that 9-10 area. Alright. But we are on pace to make the playoffs. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, wait a sec. Ooh, it's close. It's actually very close now. Yeah, Jets would have to leapfrog us. And we have a game in hand on them. But we're only one point ahead of the Wild, so we gotta be careful. Those injuries, they hurt, man. They hurt. Postgrev's still sitting at six. Although, yeah, no, it's pretty minor, but hey. <sighs> Question is, do we acquire someone at the deadline to fill that third line and put Pushkarev in the AHL? I think I do. He's, it's just, he's not a big, is a big enough impact player for my, for my liking. He just isn't. We'd inquire another sniper. Rental sniper. Because I do like having a sniper on that line with Schmaltz, because he can pass, and for the power play options. So I think, I think that's, I think that's what we do. Here at the deadline. We'll take a look. But I think that's what we do. For sure. And I'd love him to have an X Factor as well. We'll see if that's possible. Oh, I should do like one year left if it's going to be a pure rental. Tarasenko. Oh, they extended him. What? F Ugh, gross. Look at that. Oh, my God. AI is so dumb. Bjorkstrand. Still available. Not the best. Does take shots, though. Just can't really score on him. See on the block or no? Nah. Oh, but they're... Why wouldn't they sell? Why wouldn't you sell? Probably because we're not at the deadline deadline, but we can probably get Bjorkstrand. Problem is, it's not the best. It also doesn't have to be a goal scorer because we do have Kraus there who does shoot a lot. It could be something else. It could be something else. Could be a playmaker. Could be a two-way with an X-Factor. Could absolutely be something else there. So let me redo that search, get a better idea. We don't have to go for a sniper. So forward. Uh, I will look for a pure rental. And I want the X-Factor. Let's see. Put 
Pavelski again available. Man, oh man. I wish the value was a bit lower. March or so. That's low, low value for March or so. In Dallas. I don't know if they're selling him, though. Giroux is also a possibility. Still top six. 84. Wow. Giroux is cheap. All right. He's losing X Factor, though. He's only got tape to tape left. Then Eric Howell. Uh, what, quick draw? Meh. March or so, Giroux, Pavelski. Those are the ones I'm thinking. Pavelski may have a bit too much value. If he's on the block, it's doable, but I doubt he is. Nah, and they're, they're, they're a contending team. Let him chase a cup. Let him chase a cup. For sure. So for me, it's probably March or so or Giroux. He only has one T left. Eh, oh my god, he's got sick offense. Again, he's on a pretty good team. He's probably not going to want to give him up, right? Yeah. Damn. What about Giroux? He's the cheapest. Damn it, Sharks are also in a good spot. Well, he's the cheapest when it comes to value. I'm sure we have something that they'd want. Yeah, and for right now, he can even play probably second line. They do want Kiki. They want, oh, obviously, yeah. Mm. It's actually going to be tough. Hold on to Eberly for now. Because he's our only elite goalie left. Yeah, this is going to be actually kind of tight. We can make it work, but it might cost us a piece. We have multiple thirds still, and it's not looking like uh, we're going to have many medium elites, so I'd be okay trading some thirds here for a rental. So that might be the ticket. That might be the ticket going for Giroux and being able to send down uh, Pushkarev. That's kind of my thought. But you guys, let me know what you think we should do at this deadline. We should be playoff bound. Injuries have been a bit of an issue, but we make that trade. That'll help us a lot. He could play second line for a little bit. And then we move them to that third line. So let me know what you think. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.